the idea that if you if you speak freely, it might hurt people's feelings. That's that's true. Um, but if you don't allow free speech, and then somebody comes along and they have you know a charismatic demagogue who has a really good way of um, getting a bunch of people to believe something that they formerly hadn't even thought of. Well, that can be even more dangerous because you won't even have been exposed to this supposedly hurtful idea. And so somebody can come along and just, you know, get millions of people to go along with them because they have some superficially thoughtful argument that nobody's even heard and count- encountered before. So the idea is if you allow people to have their feelings get hurt rather than shrinking away and dissolving and, and having anarchy, sometimes that getting your feelings hurt is like getting a vaccine where it stings a little. And then you go, well, what, then what's my counter argument? Or maybe how do I work on myself? How do I make sure that I, I don't melt in the face of any kind of hurtful comment? Maybe I need to work on my own um, uh, attitudes and, 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 and build my own arguments. And then you actually get a healthy body politic where now if people are saying hurtful things just for the sake of it. People can sort of identify that they're not contributing anything. But if somebody says something that maybe stings, but it has a bit of truth in it. Whew, well, now maybe you have the robustness of a, you know, a epistemic immune system. that You can actually correct some of your false beliefs or come up with a better argument or, you know, collaborate with the other person to come up with an argument that neither of you has even thought of. So I think that, I think a little bit of offensiveness, a little bit of free speech, a little bit of press, these things have to be in the air. I don't know that you get a whole country figured out and then you add some free speech on top. I think you've got to kind of, you know, along with uh, electricity and water and everything else, there's got to be some, some practice, some attempt at free speech in some perhaps limited context. So that over time, you know, so as the hundred years of Pakistani history develops, maybe there will have been some, some, uh, uh, you know, some baseline and then some further development 